Hello guys, today we're going to look at PeppaType. It's a very popular AI writing tool and let's just jump right in. So like every other like every other popular uh, AI writing assistant, PeppaType has got a bunch of templates. So let's, let, uh, let's quickly look at what it has. I'm not going to stop through everything, so I'm going to quickly scroll. So if you really, I mean, if you just do product uh, review kind of stuff, then you've got templates for that. If you are e-commerce, you know, essentially selling stuff on Amazon, so you've got templates for that. If you want SEO focused uh, outputs, then you've got blog ideas, outlines, intros, conclusions, paragraph writers in Quora uh, for you. And if you are a copywriter, then, you know, you've got your website uh, headlines uh, or a copy. You've got PaaS, PAS. You've got, you know, first person to third person converter. You've got AIDA. So essentially everything that you would expect from a AI writing tool if you're a copywriter. If you're on social media, the usual suspects are covered. Facebook, YouTube, and it's uh, initially got a, a little bit of personal bio template. Uh, it's got Instagram and Twitter and so on. So it kind of covers everything that you would expect. And of course, you have the uh, Google ad copy and a bunch of stuff that uh, honestly wouldn't shock you i think is there anything unique probably not i mean you've got cold emails but you've got other tools that also do emails so when i look at it i mean it's got everything that's uh normal there's no unique or outstanding feature here but i don't know if that's what you actually look for in an ai writing tool so let's just say it's probably got everything covered it's got something for everybody uh as they always say AI writing tool, whether it's good or not, comes down to two things. One, the quality of writing. Two, uh, the pricing. So let's just jump right in and see how the tool writes. So let's pick one template here for blog outline. So the blog that I want to do is mm, nine SEO trends to watch out in 2023 here it's interesting add along the description for better results okay let's uh, let's see if we can expand this and adapt your SEO practices to rank on top of Google every time I think that's fine. I don't think I need to keep going. All right. That's good enough. Let's hit the button. So the outline that I expect, uh, I've given a number nine, but, but my experience with the AI is they don't really give that much. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, okay. That's pretty impressive. It's actually given me nine. Uh, optimizing your sites for voice search, schema markup, using HTTPS. Uh, I mean, these are old stuff, but anyway, rank for local searches, create a content strategy, how to create uh, content, okay, what's AMP, I'm told AMP is getting outdated, so I have to research that, uh, how do you go multi-channel, how do you get your podcast to rank high, okay, that's that's got something that I could use, uh, the next one, what is AI, how do machine learning and SEO work together, how does a affect the way we do SEO, how do we get smarter search. Okay. The second one is, is, is a good outline, but maybe not specifically for the topic. I'm looking for the nine trends in in the field of SEO. So the first one was better. The second one is rank higher for long team. Okay. I actually like the third one, monitor competition, improve performance and metrics, performance metrics. Uh, site speed, local and global strategies, mobile, uh, use user generated content and reviews. Okay, I think I like this one better. The fourth one, maybe not so much. Actually, I have to choose between the first one and the third one. So I'm going to, you know, vote down on the second and fourth and actually vote up on the first and third. I, I think there's a combination uh, of these two, so optimize for voice search. I, I actually would copy this here, and I would go here, and I would do a live edit. 
optimize your voice search ad I remove that I remove that because it's covered I like these ideas from the first suggestion I take this off I like that so I think that's a good suggestion 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 I'll probably I'll probably combine this yeah I think now I've got nine not that I needed nine but nine is a better number for some reason odd numbers do better so I think I like this all right so that's uh, outline for the blog what I would like to do is see if I can maybe write a blog intro so I'm just going to copy paste here okay I can only do 539 so I'm going to do this differently so I'm going to say 9 SEO trends to watch out for in 2023 uh, SEO tactics keep getting updated constantly okay I think it says good enough so let me hit the button let's see what we get I think what is important to note when you use an AI writer is you've got an idea of what to expect so when you know stuff like this comes up on your screen you've got a decent idea whether it's good enough or not okay first one not so much it's gonna actually do like it no I actually like much better I like the fourth one as well. I think, I think so. That gives you the quality of outputs. Uh, is it good? Probably. I mean, if you want to generate large volume of content quickly, yeah, I think that's that's, that's pretty uh, fine. So let's let's do maybe this. Okay, let's just maybe for fun take this out. And if you were to generate a YouTube video for this one, what would the description be? Common pip type. Surprise me. Okay, today we are going to talk about some of the best practices in creating an optimized site to do really well in uh, voice search. And that's really important because we are getting into a multi-channel environment where people are looking... Okay, I think that is not bad. I like it. Of course, I might tweak a few words here, but I think that is good. Video description is good. Uh, so let's just say, what are the SEO trends to watch out for in 2023? Let's say, you know, we want to answer this question on Quora and we ask PipperType to help us uh, build an answer to this. Let's see what the tool says. Okay, <laughs> 2017 is the year of mobile first, 2018 will be the year of voice search, now the future is in. Okay, I believe in 2023 the future trend will be that more people buy products directly on search results. Okay, that's interesting. I think it, it makes me feel like... Uh, and I think this is not unique to Peppertype. Most AIs, they've read internet, maybe 5-10%. And uh, I've heard copy smiths say, you know, they know the internet until summer last year or summer this year. So they are not up to date. Uh, uh, so I understand. So let's maybe, you know, we have to do our own research when we do, let's say, time-specific titles like these. Um, so let's maybe try one more to, you know, give a Peppertype a chance. 
what are the most important reasons to buy a Tesla car? Let's just say, you know, why not have some fun, right? With Mr. Musk taking over Twitter, I will, I will, I hope he focuses more on Tesla soon. But let's say, you know, if you were copywriting for this one. It's a technological marvel. It not only is it an electric car, it is a self-driving capability. Actually, I think I like this one. It's writing about some features, but it also thinks that uh, talking about Musk and the history is important. Mm, I don't feel strongly that way, so I'm going to say it. nope. Because the more you train the AI with your, let's say, preferences, it's going to write, you know, more to what you would like it to do. This is not true. Tesla is the only company that sells cars that do not emit CO2. I'm sure there are other EV companies as well. I mean, maybe it's the only company which does only EV. I'm not so sure. I would have to research that. But there's a lot of companies now that do EVs. So I'll probably not use it. I would have to fact check to save energy Tesla car battery can be used to power your house in case of emergency. I mean, I'm guessing that could happen, but it's probably not the first reason you would want to buy a Tesla. But I think, I mean, I've got one really good output from here. So I would say Reptype is doing okay from output's point of view. All right. So you can try Reptype for free and there's a Black Friday deal going on. So if you were to sign up using the link, these are the prices you're going to get. You get, I mean, if you pay annually, uh, pay 300 a year. So that's roughly 25 a month. Sorry, that's exactly $25 a month. You get to write up to 50,000 words per user. You get, of course, share that with people when you add team members. Uh, when you have a, a slightly bigger team, so let's say, for example, five seats, you don't basically do five times 25. You get a discounted price on it. And you get to uh, write basically more uh, shared across users. And if you need much bigger, then you can directly contact them. Uh, you can come here, click the link. It takes us to contact us, and then you can you can basically you know, talk to Peppertype to get a pricing. So, for example, if you, I, I think, if you are up to twenty-five member team, these are the prices you get. Uh, at ten thousand dollars, you could get twenty-five members of your team uh, writing fifty thousand words a month. That's I think pretty pretty competitive. And of course, if you do this uh, on a monthly basis, you pay a little more. Uh, so instead of 29, sorry, 25, you pay 35 a month. Instead of paying 832 a month for 25 users, you pay $1,000 a month. I mean, it's pretty cheap compared to some of the other tools in the market. However, you've got to use the tool first. And if you like it, then go for it uh, because you don't want to have bias remorse as well. Uh, quickly answering some of the Questions, is it always 100% uh, unique? Not just paper type, but most AI generators do kind of put an ex explicit claim that they generate unique content. And I've used that with Grammarly in combination to what Jasper has created. So I think that's true. Uh, of course, they offer uh, discounts for la uh, large volumes or nonprofits, which is good, especially for nonprofits. So of course, click the link. It takes you here on the pricing, and then you can contact them. Uh, all right thank you folks see you in another video and try out paper type more detailed review in the description and also a link to the free trial thank you